Hey guys, if you don't know what this is, then this video might change the way you do QRP ham radio. Watch the video. And you probably know what this is. This is a BioNO 3 amp hour battery, right? And up to this point, I've always had one of these with me to go do different ham radio stuff, QRP, uh, CW stuff, that's my thing. I like going out and doing that. But um, bringing this requires me to bring this little thing with the, the connectors, and I gotta charge this thing with a special charger, and so on and so forth. And I've always hated that, but I mean, that's been our option, right? You know, this or some other little box, something. But, what if you could use just a power bank to do this? You can, and that's what I wanna show you. However, if you, you need to watch this video, and the reason I say that is because there are some traps to get into with this. You can easily get the wrong one of these, and I wanna show you what happens when you get the wrong one and how to buy the right one. So watch the whole video to get to this point. The type of charging brick you need to get is one that supports PD. PD stands for power distribution. And it's, you can tell because it has these USB-C jacks on them, okay? And this one has input and output on the USB-C jacks. Um, PD came about around 2012, right about the time USB-C came out, uh, the plug itself. And, but it didn't become popular until more recently. The PD system is interesting because it can provide more than one voltage. And so the connectors that you use or the device that you're plugging into actually requests the voltage. It tells, it's, it's a back and forth communication, as I understand it. And so it tells your charge brick, hey, I need 12 volts, or hey, I need six volts, or I need nine volts or 20 volts. And those are the common voltages that are available. You find them rated to six, nine, 12, and 20, or all of them. And in this case, um, this thing's asking for 12 volts, this little piece right here, from the PD jack on the uh, charging brick. And so that's how we get 12 volts. However, um, some of these charging bricks, as I'm about to de demonstrate, don't come with 12 volt option. And that's where you can get in trouble. If you're getting this and you already have a charging brick and all you gotta do is get this little dude here for $7.99, you might be disappointed when you measure it and you only are getting nine volts or six volts. That's the problem. So um, it, 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 it's very important that when you buy a charging brick for this particular thing that you are getting one that has the rating for 12 volts or you're just not gonna get it and it's all not gonna work. And so now I'm gonna demonstrate what I'm talking about by hooking this up and putting a meter on this thing so you can see the output voltages that I'm actually getting, okay? Okay, right in front of me here, I have two different power bricks. Both of them are PD compatible. So what I wanna do is show you the difference between these two so you understand the trap that we talked about earlier. Uh, this one here is a decent power brick. However, when measured, I'm only getting 9.18 volts out of this one. And the reason is, is this one's rated to 6, 9, and 15 volts. This one, however, is rated to significantly higher. And there we go. Now we're seeing 12 volts out of this one. This one's rated to 6, 9, 12, and 15. So when we hooked it up to this one, even though this is requesting 12 volts, it gave the next lowest volt because 12 volts was not available. And that there is a demonstration of the trap you have to get into. You have to find the right uh, power brick for your needs. In this case, this is a char mast. There's a link in the description for this one so you can get this one if, if you choose. But this one is rated to the voltages that are necessary to run your radio QRP at 12 volts. Okay, I have my radio hooked up to the power brick here. I have this thing hooked up to a dummy load and I'm just going to uh, key this up so you can see that it works.
no low battery indication. And there you go. Uh, this is a simple, simple way, very inexpensive way to get yourself where you're using something that you can charge anywhere, uh, charge from your car, charge uh, from the wall, charge from solar, very simply. Everything seems to be rated to work with uh, these power brakes and using USB uh, C technology to provide you with power to take out to you. And what an elegant solution this really is. I love it.